Hello and welcome to RG Hobby TV and today we are going to review the SGGS1144 GATX 103AP Verde Buster Gundam from the Gundam Seed CE73 Stargazer series. This kit is owned and contributed by Zeri from Dojin Packers. I actually never built the HG Buster Gundam so I can't really tell the difference between the Verde Buster and the Buster. But what I can tell is the beam cannon and the beam launcher now attached to his shoulder rather than at his waist and cannot combine and become the shotgun or sniper rifle weapon that you usually see on Buster Gundam. The sticker which comes with this kit is really small. However, you better off paint the cheek part over here, these two parts here, you better paint them as they are easily peeled off. There are also stickers over here and here and here and here. You know, of course, the eyes are sticker. And that's about it. In terms of articulation, the head is kind of wobbly. The face guard can be open and close, but not much. Open, close. And it's ball joint on the head. The um, shoulder joint is kind of old. Let me remove this so you can see it. So this is the old pack part instead of the ball joint that you usually see on recent new kits. So the movement are very limited. You are only limited to, to this kind of movement. So the hand here can do this. It's 90 degree bend. Ball joint at the wrist. Ball joint at both guns on top of the shoulder. This can be open but it's just held by friction the waist can turn and this part it's a ball joint which can easily be removed and you can move this arm according to the pose that you want for this buster so the front skirt are actually linked together and it's actually a one piece just one piece of plastic that got in between them so if you want to separate them you might want you might need to modify a bit otherwise they'll just fall off if you cut them in the middle now the hip joint is actually new uh, in terms of a kit that comes from its era the SG kits from this era usually use the ball joint at the hips but now it uses the pack joint which enables it to do this it can jiggle the leg can bend this much Let me remove this so you can see it the leg can bend this much and it's ball joint at the bottom the ankle guard can move um, boost at the back this part can move up and down the middle part can also move up and down the bottom part also can move up and down same goes to the other, to the other side of the shoulder. Now in terms of accessory on this kit, it's pretty much what you see is what you get. You got the 94mm um, high energy beam cannon over here, 350mm gun launcher over here, 6 tube 220mm multipurpose missile pod, M9009B composite bayonet equipped beam rifle on both sides of the waist. And this kit comes with an action base. Now let's talk about gimmicks on this kit. Um, it is easier to do it if you remove the beam rifle first before you do the rest of it. First thing first, you move this part down 90 degrees, like so. Then turn this out okay and you turn 90 degrees again like this okay 
this one bends down this part here bends down this part bend upwards same goes to this one bends down and bend upwards and finally you attach the gun to its hand Attach this pole join to this part. And you get this kind of full burst mode. The second pose is you can take out its bayonet. So and combine them together. Spend this part and just simply combine them. Combine them and you get this some kind of mega beam shot pose. And of course you can separate the beam rifle and deploy the bayonet and have a melee combat pose which the original buster lacks now for size comparison super deform gundam real great gundam master great gundam now to wrap this video up at 1600 yen this kit is worth the price considering all the accessories that comes with it the color separation which means minimal stickers and they even throw a 1144 action base into the kit. It would be much better if this kit is displayed together with the Strike Noir and Blue Duel Gundam and display as the Phantom Pain team, which I don't have at the moment. And um, that's all for the review of, of the GATX 103 AP Verde Buster Gundam. And I see you in my next video. Me osora sazuni subete kono mune ni sasaru shin jitsu naraba. Like this video if you like it, dislike if you dislike. Leave your comments if you have any. Don't forget to subscribe for more Gunpla videos. And thank you for watching.